Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Sat Show. I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday. I was uh, a little busy doing some research on the genomic revolution that's going to be coming up soon. And yeah, guys, you do not want to miss these next couple of videos that I'm going to post because it's going to be about companies that can easily 20x over the next couple of years. And before getting into it, I, I do want to say that this video is about PAC-B, Pacific Biosciences. And I also want to say, guys, thank you for subscribing. I it's been an amazing achievement for me to get from zero subscribers to 63 subscribers in the last month or so. And yeah, just if you're enjoying my videos, please click a subscribe and please hit the bell icon because it is going to help me and like the video and share it to anyone because I do want to get to the ability um, or position where I can monetize these videos so I can continue getting higher quality videos out. So the reason why I'm going to be doing genomic videos over the next couple of days and the reason why I'm going to be talking about Pacific Biosciences today is because of this clip right here and Kathy Wood said this a week ago on Bloomberg and yeah I found it pretty interesting but here you go generated in that five-year time span which of your current holdings Kathy do you think will supply the biggest lift in the next five years Tesla is still in the running but I would have to say the biggest upside surprises are going to come from the genomic space. Uh, and that's because the convergence of DNA sequencing, uh, artificial intelligence, and gene therapies, importantly, CRISPR gene editing, are going to uh, cure disease. That convergence is going to cure disease. Now, and now, with the combination of artificial intelligence and gene editing, we're able to both anticipate diseases and cure them potentially. Beta thalassemia, we're seeing it, sickle cell disease. We even think it will work in uh, diabetes, which is where most, uh, the, the, if you look at the largest category of spending uh, year to year in healthcare, it's diabetes. So yeah, as Kathy Wood said, the genomic revolution is coming, guys, and this is exciting because this is going to be allowing us to invest into companies that may turn out to 20x in the future. And yeah, as Kathy Wood said, Tesla-like returns. And yeah, this is where Pacific Biosciences uh, comes into all of it. So what Pacific Biosciences actually does is they design, develop, and manufacture sequencing systems. And they use a sequencing system called SMART, so Single Molecule Real-Time Sequencing. And yeah, essentially the way they make money is they create a device called the SQL 11E that helps with the basically DNA sequencing and the research of it. And they sell this machine as well as consumables that come with the machine and that are used within the machine to create generating revenue. I do want to also add the fact that we are extremely early on in the genomic revolution. So getting into any companies in this sector is going to be like investing into companies like Amazon and Google before they popped. And I know this is unrelated to Pacific Biosciences. However, I do want to add in the fact that our favorite company, Nano Dimensions, also has a big play in the DNA sequencing space. Their additively manufacturing uh, machines are actually able to create something called lab on a chip, which helps um, scientists and researchers with DNA sequencing. So now I'm going to get into the financial information about Pacific Biosciences and their revenues and go over kind of how the stock, um, the stock performed over the last couple of months. So they're selling a machine called the SQL 11 EE and the SQL 11 and also the consumables for the machine. So as more people order the machine, they're going to keep having to order the consumables uh, for the machine, which is going to be generating revenues. And their expected revenue in 2020 is $75.56 million. And this is a 16% loss from 2019. And they said it's due to CV19 that uh, their revenues were lowered. However, they do expect that uh, revenue of 132 million in 2021 and this is quite a bit of an increase from our 75.56 million so pacific biosciences current customers are institutions genome centers pharmaceuticals agricultural companies and even academic institutions and currently they're doing direct sales of their machine in america and europe however they have distribution partners in asia middle east and africa so hopefully they get that to a direct um sales eventually when they have enough money to and obviously that'll be a higher profit margin per thing sold uh and and then now i'm going to get into the ownership of the company so 
Institutional ownership of the company is 87.22%, and institutions bought $650 million um, of shares over the last year, and they sold only $85 million worth in shares. So it's always seem, it's always a good thing to see institutions increasing their position on a company like this. So I will be coming out with other videos as a series of uh, the genomic revolution, and yeah, um, it's based on what basically what ARK Invest invested in. and. Obviously, this video is about Pacific Biosciences, so yeah, they're actually holding 20 million shares of Pacific Biosciences at a weight factor of 16.93% in their ARCG um, ETF. And guys, all of these companies right here are pretty solid. I am currently trying to pick up more Pacific Biosciences on Monday, and after that, I'll, I'm probably going to get into Twist. Um, and probably Articus as well. And I will be doing videos on all of these five companies at the top. Um, well, I'll be doing videos on PacB, CRISPR, Twist, and also Invitae, because Invitae is one of my favorite as well. So the ARCG ETF has actually been performing extremely well ever since March um, 2020. So obviously this is after the coronavirus crash. It was at $25 USD. Um, in, in March and after that there was a lot of money that moved into the healthcare sector on um, obviously investors are going to put in money for healthcare to find the vaccine for CV19 and it also went towards other things and we've seen a, an amazing increase from $25 all the way to now $103 in their ETF and yeah Kathy Wood said that she's she only sees upside to this sector and I really think it's very important for us to get into these stocks before the revolution occurs.